this is Michael, and welcome to another video. And a lot of you know me as Bebo Michael, but whatever. So today I'll be doing a Nintendo Switch review. And as many of you know, I have gotten the Nintendo Switch uh, about somewhere around a week ago. Sorry about the lying like. Sorry. I just can't really get a better spot. So, um, I will be doing a Nintendo Switch review today. And so uh, let's just get straight into it. So first, the Switch. The Switch is like very uncomfortable. Like that's the first thing I have to say. Like it's not very comfortable. Like when it's in tablet mode. Like well, if it I don't know all the modes. Like handheld mode. I don't know what it's called. I think the most comfortable position is when it's on its kickstand or like on the TV, and you're like playing it with the Joy Cons like just all around. And I kind of like the grip, like, when you're going like this, like, the grip, I kind of like it like that, but it's just, it's so small, I know, I, I think I just like it in, um, nunchuck mode, I'm pretty sure that's what you call it, like this, and yeah, I think that's my favorite mode, um, yeah, the, I, believe it or not, the next mode that I like, is probably just going like this, like, sideways, and there's nothing really much to talk about like that, but I think the most uncomfortable position is <coughs> sorry is when it's just in handheld mode because it's okay. It may not look like it, but it's so wide. Like if I put it like this on the ground, like ah, it's like a foot. And it's not tall at all. It's maybe half a foot, six inches. I don't know. It's really short. Okay, so many of you don't know if you want to get a Switch. And today I will be, I'll come down to the conclusion of don't buy or do buy. Do buy. That just sounds funny. Like, don't buy or do you, do you want to buy? Is it worth it? Is it worth it or not worth it? So, the next thing we're going to do is the games. The games are just... The games, the cartridges, those are the discs. The discs are so tiny. Like, they're as tiny as the DS ones, and they might be a little bit tinier. I don't really know. But they're very, very, very tiny. And I kind of like that. But I kind of also don't like it because then it's a lot easier to lose it. Oh, and there's one thing I want to mention. Um, actually, two things I want to mention that are very important. These little Joy-Con things... That go on the side of the switch. I'm sure you both all both know that. All know that. Oh my gosh, why can't I get this in? Like these two Joy-Con thingies. Um, they uh they cost uh, 80 or 70 bucks. I don't really know. Like any color or any design, they all cost somewhere around 70 or 80. And so here's a good tip for you, which you all know. Don't lose it. So, yeah, just don't lose this thing, and, um, oh yeah, you have to pay for internet, um, I don't really know why you have to do that, but apparently you have to pay for internet, um, I don't have internet yet, because, I don't really know why, I, okay, here's the thing, when I buy something, I'm only into it for, like, a week, and then I just, like, stop doing it, like, that's what I did with, like, I don't know, Beyblades. Like, I was into them for like, like about a year ago, I was into them for like, two weeks, and so I bought like 30 bucks of them, like 30 bucks worth of Beyblades, and the next week I was just like, eh. So, yeah. Just, I'm not gonna buy them yet, I'm gonna wait another one or two weeks and then buy them. And, yeah, that's basically all for the Switch, like, not the Switch, like the all the okay let's just move on to like the games and how they play and like how good they are so me and my brother started off with mario kart 8 deluxe and mario kart 8 deluxe is it's a really good game like it's pretty good um yeah and the battle mode is amazing like i don't think there will be any better battle mode in um mario kart 8 mario kart and then we got, um, a 
the next day we got two games, Super Bomber Man R, Super Bomber Man R, I don't really know why they call that, and 1T Switch. Super Bomber Man, I do not think is worth 50 bucks, I think it's worth like 30 maybe, um, just because like, okay, there's battle mode, which you just like fight each other, and then there's another mode that's called story mode. And it's basically like, kind of like Super Mario Bros. If you don't know what Super Mario Bros. is, well, it's I think you know what Super Mario Bros. is, but um, yeah, it's like that. But the only thing that's bad about it is it's so hard. Like we're only on World Two, and it is just so hard. Like Super Bomber Man is so hard. It is just so hard. And I think. I think that our, the best game that we have is probably, it's a tie between these two. Like, we only have three, but I, it's a tie between these two. So, okay, now to if it's worth it. It depends. Like, if you only have one person in your family, or one person, um, who likes it, I think, like, this is for the games, if they're worth it. I think you should start out with Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild because that apparently that's like the best game. I don't have that yet, but um I'll get it soon. Um Like if you have one person in your family, get Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild first. And maybe Super Bomber Man. No, actually, if you have enough money to get two, just get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and um uh Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Just because those two are like very, they're just, I think they're the best games out yet. And, um, yeah. So if you have like two people or three people in your family, one to switch definitely. Like, this game is, this game is bomb. And the next game I probably want you to get, well, the best to get is Mario Party Deluxe. Just because it was like, even in multiplayer, the battle is so good. Like that's usually not the case, but in like in the Switch, it is. Like it's just fun with two players. And um, that's basically it for the games. Now, if the whole thing is worth it, again, it depends. If you only have one person in your family, I suggest not getting. It. Like you can get it if you have a ton of money, but here's why. The stuff is so expensive, like, the Joy-Cons, like, even the wrist straps are, like, 10 bucks, and all you have to do is make this plastic stuff, it's not 10 bucks, it should be, like, 5 or $2, or even $1, and, like, this grip thing, um, uh, it's, like, okay, this is, I'm pretty sure, 40 bucks, but the charging grip? Which, I don't even know why they did that, is 40 bucks. Like, okay. So, this does not charge it. Even though it looks like it does Like, even though it looks like it charges it, it doesn't. And, then, you can buy it separately from the Switch. You could buy a charging grip separately from the Switch. Like, who does that? Like, that's really weird. And, okay. So, if you have two people who want it, I suggest getting it. Because then you can split the money. So just say the switch is three hundred dollars, then you only have to pay one hundred fifty dollars plus tax, which is like one sixty five, I don't know. But um yeah. And it's just yeah. So if you have two or more, I think that you'll want it just because like it's okay. It's fun. Like even if you have one person in your family, I still think that it's really going to be fun. It's just, you're going to get so into it that you're just going to spend all your money on stuff. And that's not good. So, yeah. That's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. So, I will see you next time with more videos of Switch and anything else. Bye!